Hi, I'm Charlie Pickering and I'm here at the Victorian Institute of Forensic Medicine in Melbourne. Now, it's not a place that people would regularly come. In fact, if you didn't work here or have business here, the only other reason you'd come is because you're dead. But it's not like CSI Miami or anything as glamorous as that. There aren't a lot of people in stiletto heels or cool dudes in sunnies. But what you do have here is cutting edge scientific work, cutting edge scientific innovation, some amazing forensic medicine young and not so young scientists on a daily basis do incredible work ultimately to discover how people died and how we can prevent those deaths in the future. They do autopsies, they analyze DNA, they perform CT scans, they, they even retrieve and process human tissue for transplantation to the living. And at the end of the day, what this place does is help families, courts and the police bring justice to the dead. They do incredible work and it's an amazing facility. Let's go and take a look. One of Australia's most famous legal cases led to the establishment of the Victorian Institute of Forensic Medicine. The Lindy Chamberlain case highlighted problems with the quality of forensic evidence given to the courts, and the government recognised there was a need for an organisation which could provide independent expert advice. The Institute was established to 